Hello, you are welcome to solve this nice set of equation. Let this be equation 1 and this be equation 2. Here we have to find x plus y. And uh, from equation 2 here, which is x, y, x times y equals to 48. Now we can divide both sides by x here in order to make y the subject. And x cancel out here, so we have y equals to 48 over x. And uh, here, we can substitute this in equation 1. That is, equation 1, we have x square minus y square equals to 28. So put this value of y here now. Then this equation becomes x square minus 48 over x then all square that's y square equals to 28 and from here this square affects 48 and x so this now become x square minus 48 square over x square equals to 28 now we have this you know equation here and the x here is x square so we can take the fraction and multiply two by x square so that x square times x square will be x square then square then minus x square we can't say square that's 48 square then equals to 20 times x square that's 28 x square then from here we have x square common so let's use a letter u let u be equals to x square then this will become u square minus 48 square then equals to 28u now when we rearrange and we bring 28 to here so we have u square minus 28u then minus 48 square equals to 0 now this is in form of a quadratic equation. Let's separate this to this side, and we use completing the square here. So we have u square minus twenty-eight u equals to forty-eight square. And from completing the square, we have coefficient of u here as minus twenty-eight. Now take the half of it, then square. That's you know completing the square, and half of this is minus fourteen. Minus 14 square. And uh, from there, we had this to both sides of this equation. And this will become u square minus 28 u plus minus 14 square, same thing as 14 square. Then equals to 48 square plus 14 square from here. Then this side, same thing as u minus 14 all square so that is what this gives us and then which is equals to here 48 square we can write it as 50 minus 2 square 50 minus 2 is 48 then plus 14 here can be written as 10 plus 4 then square for easy work here then here we still leave it as u minus 14 square now equals to 50 square here give us 2500 then minus 2 times 50 times 2 that give us 200 then plus 2 square that's 4 then plus here 10 square that's 100 then plus 2 times 10 times 4 that give us 80 there then plus 4 square that's 16 then from here we add this together and then we have u minus 14 now square equals to here when we had uh, 4 plus 16 that's 20 plus 80 that's 100 plus 100 200 and we have two, minus 200 plus 200 that cancel out then we have 2500 left here then it means that we have u minus 14 squared equals to 2500.
from here we take the square root from both sides so square root of this side then square root of this side square cancel square root we have u minus 14 now equals to square root of 2500 give us 50 that's plus or minus 50 here then that means here we have two possible cases and then we have either u minus 14 equals to 50 or we have u minus 14 equals to minus 50 and what we saw from here we have u equals to 50 plus 14 now when minus 14 comes here then u equals to 64 here then on this side we have u equals to minus 50 plus 14 and u equals to minus 36 here then we should recall that we represented u as s square then s square now is equal to 64 and when we square root both sides square cancel square root and here x now equals to plus or minus this one here and on this side we have u which is also x square which is equal to minus 36 take the square root on both sides as well square cancel square here x equals to plus or minus this i now we should look say that we are finding x plus y which are real value existing solution here so we won't go further with this complex solution then from here we represented we in the beginning we have y equals to 48 over x so to get the corresponding value of y here we now have y equals to 48 over plus or minus 8 and from here y will be giving us plus y is equals to plus or minus 6 therefore the value of x plus y from here will then be my plus or minus 8 then plus or minus 6 and therefore x plus y will then be equal to plus or minus 14 so here we have the solution to this uh, given problem thank you for watching don't forget this uh, subscribe for more exciting videos put the notification on and uh, share this video give a thumbs up put your comment comment section thank you see you next time bye for now